and then we come to the song the end. I had to do something like this. It can't all end happy. Uh, it does end happy for me, but there's some people out there that it doesn't really end happy with. Uh, I, or they can just never be happy. Uh, yeah, if, if Santa Claus sat on their lap, you know, and said, uh, you can have anything you want, they still wouldn't be happy. If Jesus came down and touched them, you will live forever. You'd never be happy. Um, I'm glad I don't have that. I got Blue, and I got Ryan, and the boys. And... But the end was, let's see how far I could take my imagination. I wrote this song with a guy named Patrick Leonard, who was the producer of, uh, of Madonna's um, Cherish album. Like, uh, the one Pop It On Preach and all that stuff. And, Amazing album. And I mean, as far as working together, it was cool, but we wrote together beautifully. And he wrote the music on this piano, this weird looking, weird, odd sounding bubble kind of sound, uh, electronic sound, um, almost like that song, Hope I Live to Tell, that Madonna song, which is my favorite Madonna song. And um, he was like, Go write something to it. So I come back with the story of a man who's going through a divorce. <laughs> and is watching his ex-wife get completely, completely fucked by her new man through the window and enjoying the hell out of it. And it is the most insane story of this guy who goes to visit his wife and he's standing there at the window of his old house that he bought. It's not his anymore. He lives in a shitty little apartment down the street. She got it. And he's looking right through the window and watching it all. And all he wants to do is get in there and watch it more and more and more and more. I don't know why, but it's a creepy fucking song. But for some reason it came out of me. Uh, the ending of the song is pretty neat. <laughs> it's the only ending I can think of that suited this man. Um, and I'm, I'm really proud of this song because it was an opportunity for me to tell a story that uh, tell a story that uh, does happen and how people can be taken to that point where they would actually harm another through jealousy and pride and uh, infatuation, love, obsession, lust. Those things, they're all different. There was no love involved in that, you know? So when you're stuck with nothing and you're watching your girl get laid, <laughs> you won't pop. You know, um, that's it.